Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a 3D platformer. We will use Unreal Engine 5 and we will create something that looks like Fall Guys with multiplayer with some battle royale kind of gameplay and we will do all of that in Unreal. We will do everything together. I will show you every step so that you will be able to create your own. First of all, we will have to download the Unreal Engine software. I will go in unrealengine.com. In here on the top right, we have the download button. So we'll download this. When it is download, we will have the Epic Game Store that start. On the Epic Game Store, we will have the button Unreal Engine. We'll click on it. Then we can see the first page is the news. We can have some news. We can have some sample project. We can have some example of some work from the community. But we actually want to go to the library. We will go to the library and in here, in the engine version, we will click on the plus and install a new version. For us, it will be the 5.3.1, which is already installed on my computer, but you can actually choose the version you want. You can either choose the 5.3 or you can choose any version that you like to use. Maybe 5.5, .5, if you are on 5.5, .5, it will work the same. So we will, when it's downloaded, we will actually launch the Unreal Engine. So this is the Unreal Engine browser. In here, we can have, we can see on the left some different parts. We have the game, we have the film and video and live event, architecture, automotive, simulation, and the recent project. First, we will go on the game menu, and in here we can have some. We can see the different templates. There is already a third person already working. We will use it a little bit later. I will show you how it works. We will start with a blank project. We will you go for blueprint. We will have the target platform as desktop and the quality preset at maximum. The other two we will keep them not checked, and we will add a project name will be a multi platformer three. We click on create and here we are we have the Unreal Engine with a little map. So we want to start with a blank uh, level so we will click on file and click on a new level. In here we can choose different world. We have the open world or we have the basic we will go with the empty level. We want something completely blank. So we choose empty level and we click on create. Now we have an empty level. We can see on the right that our level is empty. If we add some stuff in the level, it will show in here and then we will have the detail to actually uh, change some stuff on the object. If we go on the bottom left, we have the content drawer. This is where all our content file will be. So we can see that we have the content folder. We can create new folder and we will create the basic structure of our project. So the first folder will be the map. Then we will create a new folder blueprint. Then we will create a new folder. It will be the mesh. So the map will be all the different levels that we have. It will be the main menu. It will be also the main level if we have only one level or the different level. If you have level one, level two, level three, it will be different map. The blueprint, it's actually uh, all the development that we will do. We not use C sharp like, uh, like in Unity. We use something called blueprint and it's something that we can actually use to uh, write the development. If we don't know how to write any line of code, if we just know how to do algorithm, we can actually use the blueprint to make our little algorithm, make our stuff work. I will show you that a little bit later. We will not go in the blueprint straight away. So now we have an empty level. We will start by doing file, save current level. We want to save our level in the map and we'll call this level testing map. So we'll have a map for the test so we can test our feature like the jumping and all the stuff like that. We will test them in the map, in the testing map. And then we will create a main menu map and the different level for our game. So we'll save this testing map. And we can see now our testing map is pretty blank. 
So we will use a tool very useful. In the window, we can go in the env of light mixer. And if I click there, we can see this little window. And we will actually click on each of the button to add all the different lights in our scene and you will see it will be added in here on the right and in the scene. So we'll cl click on create skylight, then atmospheric light, sky atmosphere, volumetric cloud and the height fog. And we didn't change anything and we have already a beautiful sky with the sun and we can see all of them there. And we can actually change some stuff. For example, if we look at the directional light, this is actually the sun is there. And we can change the intensity. If you put 15 lux, it will be more bright. We can change the color. We can have a red light, a blue light, anything. We will keep it white. But we can change all the different stuff on the detail panel. So we have some different actors in our scene and when we choose each of them, we can change the stuff in the component. Now that we have the sky, we will want to have some floor. So to add the floor, we will click on this little button on the top and we will go in shape and we choose the cube. You could actually use the plane, but we will start with the cube. And now we have the cube in the scene. So we can see we can roam around with the W, A, S, D and the right click. So we right click to lock our mouse in the scene and we can W, A, S, D to roam around. Then we have some little arrow on our cube. We can move it on the different axis, X, Y, Z, and you can if we click in here, we can rotate it or we can scale it. So we will start by scaling our cube, make it small like this, we will make it a little bit bigger like this to actually have a platform. Boom around. Up, and we will pull it a little bit down. OK, so we have our first platform. And now we need to actually spawn our player. To spawn our player, we will go in this little button again and we type player start. And we'll take the player start. If we mouse over, we can see this class indicates the location where the player can spawn when the game begins. So we'll take it. We will drag and drop in our scene. If it's written bad size like here, that means it overlap on something. So we up a little bit up and now it doesn't overlap with the floor. So he is happy. I put a little bit there. And if I click on the play button, we will actually be able to play the game. And we have spawned on the player start. And we can go on the game. We can move the camera with the mouse and we can roam around with W A S D. But it's not what we want. We want to have a character. So when we are blocked like that and our mouse is not showing, we type Shift F1 and we get our mask back and we can stop the simulation or we could actually just do Shift Escape, the same thing as clicking on the stop button. So we will use uh, the character of Unreal Engine for now. We will not create the character yet. We will just get something that work for now. So we will go in the content drawer on the bottom left and we click on the add button. And we will go in the add feature or content pack. And in here, we will actually use the template, the third person template and we will add it to the project. We'll wait a little bit. And now we have in our content folder, a new folder called third person we've contained blueprint input and some map. In the blueprint folder, we can see the third person character and the third person game mode. If we go into the game mode, we can see some different options. There is some classes in here 
the game section, the game state, the player controller, the player state, and so on. And the one that is interesting for us will be the default pawn class, which is the default pawn class used by player. And here is the third person character. It's this blueprint. If we go in the third person character blueprint, we have some different art in here and I will go to viewport. So we can see our character that we actually want to use. And in the event graph is the blueprint. Let's just check. For now, we will not go too deep. We just see what is a blueprint. So all this little box is how we make the game work. For example, in here we have the input action look, which is the movement of the camera. When the camera moves, it got triggered and it changed the controller U input and the controller pitch input. We put the X value and the Y value. We will see that later how to make it. We will do a we will redo this and I will explain to you everything. For example, when there is the jump, it call the function jump, jump and the stop jumping when we stop jumping. This is a very, very basic blueprint. And we have our character in here. This is the mesh. It's called the mesh. We have a little camera behind. To use this third person character, we actually need to use this third person game mode. We will close these two and we will go in the project settings. And in the project settings, we have different settings that we can change. And we want to go to the map send mode. And in here, we can see the default game mode. And we will change the de default game mode to the blueprint third person game mode. So now, if I open this selected game mode, we can see that the default point class will be the blueprint third person character. So now, when we will start the game, we will actually be in the third person character. I can close this and I can click on start. And now we have our third person character and we can actually roam around, we can jump. And that's it. So we actually have a basic character that can roam around, jump, we have a platform, we have some light, everything is there, we just have to do the platforming and we will have a game. But it will not be that simple, obviously. But it's actually a good start. With no coding, nothing, we just created a little scene with a character, the sky, the floor to roam around, and we'll almost have a game. So we press Shift F1 to quit. And it will be good for this first tutorial, for the, this first episode on the Unreal Engine, on how to set up the project for our 3D platformer. On the next episode, we will create our own third person character, we will see the game mode, we will see the player controller, then we will see the player character. I will explain to you what those different stuff means, what, uh, how do we use it, what is it good for, and so on and so on. So if you don't want to miss the next episode, don't forget to subscribe, drop a like if you like this video, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.